Well, these loads were happening on our Feel Good Breakfast Show. Sorry, I'm still sitting here thinking shocked. of, yeah, shocked at my loss. There's a reason why there's crayons and outlined illustrations on the table when it comes to our kiddies' menus because coloring in keeps our kids healthy, you know? It keeps a busy kid busy. <laughs> <laughs> so apparently it's the same for grown-ups. See how we can benefit from coloring in. Art therapy is widely practiced by psychiatrists, crisis centers, and in other situations where mental and emotional health are of greatest importance. Grinnell Pistorius, manager of a fetal specialist practice, has a pilot program in a local maternity ward. There's a lot of power in art therapy, and especially color in is a form that they can do in the bed in hospital. Most patients need to stay here for quite a while. And if their minds are occupied, it really helps them not to get in a hurry to get home. Adult coloring books are different than children's books in the sense that they've got very complicated patterns. Some of the books are just intricate, small areas to color in. They are appealing because I think even for adults, we're yearning back to our childhood years, but it's also you creating something, you know, just not playing a game with no end result. Coloring books for adults feature mandalas, a concentric structure usually dominated by squares or triangles, which offer balancing visual elements. Along with intricate designs and swirling paisleys, coloring is de-stressing and generates quietness within the busy adult mind. The first reaction of patients when we give them the coloring book is sort of surprised. But as soon as they get involved in that, they really ask for more. So we donate the books to the labor ward and all the ladies want to color in books. I think it gives themselves a memory to the time they've been there. The design of these adult coloring books has to be visually appealing to occupy the mind in a way that chattering thoughts cease. It allows our creative side to be a little more free while our analytical side can take a rest, a necessary mental balance for expectant mothers under stress. My water broke on 18 weeks, so I'm on bed rest now until they, they try and hope that the baby makes his uh, own water, yeah. Since I've been in hospital, my mind is constantly and obviously on the baby and worrying about is everything going to be fine. Last year, also on 18 weeks, we lost a baby boy. And obviously you lie and you ask God questions and you don't know why you must go through this again. And I was just hanging on on Proverbs 3 verse 5, which says, trust the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. And that's basically what I'm doing here. Friends gave me books. I'm not a reader at all. And I started a bit reading, but it wasn't me. If I catch myself again, I will like think of something else. And then when she brought in this book, it took my mind immediately off whatever is going on. While I'm drawing, I listen to music, which helps a lot. And the music calms me down. And the fact that the detail in the patterns are so tiny and you have to concentrate, just by concentrating, already my mind is off whatever is going on in the hospital. Seven of the 10 best selling books on a leading online shopping site are coloring books for adults. So it's no wonder more institutions are adopting art therapy in practice. It allows us to release our worries and go back to childhood, a simpler time when the world was simply filled with happy colors.